Hey guys, on today's video, we're gonna be setting up this awesome iPhone. I do have a manual of how to use it as well. However, this is just a setup video. So let's just get started. So first of all, I'm just gonna take this out. It's brand new. Then what you guys should do is insert your SIM card. So this is an iPhone 16 plus. Again, iPhone 16 plus. It doesn't really matter how much storage your iPhone has. It's gonna be the exact same manual, by the way. So something you guys have in your box is this, SIM card tool. This, you will need to take out your SIM card and put in your SIM card. So that's something that didn't come with your phone. However, you guys can purchase it from a carrier or just transfer it from your phone to this phone. So let me just show you what that is. So that's right here. This is a SIM card. And this, we're gonna be installing your phone. What SIM card does your phone need? Well, it needs this one. And this SIM card can be used with any phone. So and by any phone, I mean any iPhone. They all have the nano SIM card. It's the smallest one. So just pop that out. So there we go. And here's the nano SIM card. That's how it looks like. So it's very small. And just try not to touch it too much. But anyways, to insert this into your phone, all you have to do, and by the way, if you lost this for any reason, just use an earring. Just pop that in here. That's gonna be popping out by itself. Then, just take it out like so. Hold on to it. Actually, we have to turn it around in this case. And see, you're going to have to put it in this way. So see how that looks like? That's how it's supposed to go in your phone. So let me just zoom in so you guys can see. So that's how it looks like. And that's the proper way to put it in your phone. I'm just going to flip it around and put it in my phone. And there we go. That's it. That's how you guys can insert your SIM card. Once you've inserted your SIM card, we can turn it on. Which, by the way, you could put your SIM card later on. It just makes things faster and easier if you do that right now. I'm just going to turn this around to power on this for the very first time. You're going to see your power key here. Which, by the way, I should tell you what every key does on your phone so you guys know what you're doing. So first of all, let's just start off with this side really fast. That's your SIM card tray like we mentioned. Then we have your minus plus. So this is for your volume keys up down, then up here. This you guys can customize that button, but for now, it's just gonna be your silent button. So you guys can just silent your calls and all that stuff by pressing here. You guys can customize that later on. And down here below, you guys will notice, so this is for your camera, camera button, power button, that's about it. So right now to power it on for the very first time, we just have to hold on to our power key. Your phone should come with some charge, so you should see an Apple logo. If your phone comes with zero charge, I would return it or exchange it right away because it should come with something. All the phones that I've bought, they've all come with at least 70% of their battery. Right now you should see this. So at this point in time, all you guys have to do is just scroll up and then select your language. So you're gonna have various languages to choose from. This is the entire list of languages. There's quite a bit. And then once you find whatever you want, just select it. From here, your region or country. Same thing, you're gonna have a big list of regions, countries to choose from. Once you find it, just select it, and then you guys will be able to move on to the next step. So here's the whole list. I'm just gonna show you really, really quick. Although it's a humongous list, you should be able to see where you're from right here. Usually the very first option will be yours because it does detect where you are. But uh, anyways, we're gonna choose Canada. Then from here, appearance. So this is important. Almost everything that I'm gonna be showing up in the setup video, you guys can also change this up later on. So if you guys change your minds, screw up anywhere, change it later. But for now, you guys can choose default, you guys can choose medium or large. And that's what it does. You guys saw that text, how it changed. So maybe you guys like really big text. And you know what? People that buy the iPhone Plus usually like that bigger text so go for it or maybe medium's good enough or default is what you like which is what I like so I'm gonna go ahead and choose default continue on quick start is something that's really cool because it's just gonna help you get started a little bit faster so if you guys have an iPhone or an iPad just bring it close to this one make sure to have your Bluetooth turned on and then on your other iPad or iPhone you should see a screen popping up and that's gonna tell you quick start now, if you guys are brand new to this, just put in setup without another device down here below. Choose your Wi-Fi network, 
we are going to go ahead and do that right now. Put in your password, press on done, and then you should connect up. So can you guys use a hotspot? Yes, because it's going to detect it as a hotspot. So a hotspot is a Wi-Fi network anyways. And this only takes a little bit to set up. If there's an update, it will tell you that it's an update. And most likely, it's going to be popping up a little message saying that we need to update. And that's why this will take some time to set up. But other than that, the setup itself is pretty fast. All right, so if you just let your iPhone reset, just press the power key again. You're going to see this. Not reset, I mean reboot because it was updating. Um, You would see this. Just continue on. Quick start. Set up with another device because you don't have another device. And just continue on from here. All right. So now that the update's done, everything's good to go. Let's just go into continue. And then from here, set up new iPhone. Okay, so if this for yourself, pick yourself, or if this is for a child or your family member, choose the second option. I'm gonna choose myself for this case. Face ID, this is something that you guys can skip if you don't want to import any personal information, so set up later. If you guys want to set this up, because this is for you, go ahead and continue on. I'm gonna teach you how to do that. So going to continue. This is how to set up face ID. So get started. You're gonna move your face just in circles like so. And then your phone will scan your face, basically. You're gonna be done with that. Okay, so right now you guys can choose to set up with a face mask or not. I'm gonna choose not, because I don't need to. You can set up later in settings or just never use face ID with, with a mask. So I'm just gonna choose no. And we are done. So at this point, just put in passcode. If you guys want a passcode, go ahead and put one in. However, you do have other options. So four digits and other options here. So I wanted to show you that. However, just put in whatever makes sense to you. It doesn't have to be anything difficult. And then your second time that you put it in, you should be done with the setup of the passcode itself, which is completely different than your Apple ID password, by the way. Right here, transfer your apps and data. If you're brand new to this, don't transfer anything. If you come from Android, don't choose from Android. It never works that well. Just set it up like brand new and then you should be good to go. If you have another phone, I would choose set up with uh, iCloud backup. Um, if you don't pay for iCloud, it's okay. When you get a brand new phone, they actually let you back up your stuff for free on iCloud, no matter how many gigs it is. So you guys can transfer that over. And there are a few other options down here below. We're gonna assume you guys are brand new, so we're gonna choose the last option. From here, if you guys don't have an Apple ID, this is the time to make one, choose the second option here. Put in your second option, create a password, well, an Apple account. Then put in your first name, last name, birthday, continue on, it's gonna ask you for your email. And I also wanna mention right there, you guys can also set up later in settings. So if you don't wanna import any personal information, you don't have that third option down here below instead of creating an Apple account. If you guys do have an Apple account, obviously just put it in right now. Regardless, whichever option you guys chose, this would be your second screen. From here, go on into continue on, and then iMessage and FaceTime. All of you are gonna use that. Location, this is for you guys to use maps. So I would definitely go ahead and turn that on. Screen time, this is for you. Those of you who have kids, you guys can set up the restrictions and so on. If you guys care about your screen time, you can also set up right now. If you guys use your phone and don't really care, then set up later in settings. From here, you guys can share this with Apple or not. I would share my analytics. Uh, same thing goes with apps. I do like to share that information with developers just for them to improve things. Now we're getting down to your screen. Okay, so you guys can choose light mode, dark mode, which does this, and auto. Auto, what does it do? It comes like this, light mode, okay, a white screen in the background during the daytime. At nighttime, it's gonna turn dark because it's easier on your eyes. So usually for most people, auto is good. For me and for this video itself, light will work. Personally, I like dark mode. You guys can always change any of these things, by the way, later on if you change your minds. And we're gonna continue on. So this button is pretty cool. Something that's kind of new to all phones because you can customize it. So that's this button here. We're just gonna continue on. And right here, it's gonna tell you that this is your silent, but you guys can customize it and make it something else. I would for now just leave it as is. Then later, if you guys find yourselves not using the silent mode or ever touching that button, customize it. Make it to whatever you guys use the most. So again, that would be done in settings. For now, 
We're gonna choose not now. From here, camera control. So these are new buttons, that's why it's showing you them. Press continue, by the way. It's gonna show you that this is right here. That's your camera. And you guys wanna see that, how that's used. I do have a manual about it, but just mess around with it. You guys are gonna see how to control that. Continue, Siri. So to set up Siri, it's really easy. We're gonna get that started. So, oh, and by the way, if you guys don't wanna import any personal information, again, set up later in settings. But we're gonna assume that you guys do want to, so going to continue. Your default voice for Siri. I like number four. The colors of the sky. Choose whichever one you want. Press con continue. Siri, how's the weather? Hey Siri, send a message. Siri, set a timer for three minutes. Hey Siri, get directions home. Siri, play some music. And there we go, Siri is ready. All I had to do was read whatever it said there. Continue on. You guys can share these recordings with Apple, by the way, by Siri. But at the same time, if you guys want more privacy, don't. I like to share so they improve things. Uh, emergency, yeah, you just press continue on. Then you're pretty much done. Welcome to phone. So this is your new iPhone. These are all the apps you guys get. You guys don't get any more apps. These are your standard apps. If you scroll through, you're gonna see them. So there's some in here and here you go, even more apps. So scroll down and there you go. That's all the apps you guys have on your phone. If you guys want to download more, App Store. A lot of people do ask me, it's like Twitter, Facebook, all that stuff. Yeah, it's not even called Twitter anymore. But anyways, <laughs> it's all that stuff. Like Instagram, also free on phone, on iPhones, then Androids. Yeah, it's all the same thing. All social media is completely free. So go on and download it from the App Store. Something I do recommend going into is your settings, now that you're all done. General, and just making sure that you're all up to date. So here you go, you should be up to date, but just in case, run any updates if they need to. Those are widgets up there, by the way. But anyways, as far as this video goes, we're all done. If you guys have any comments, questions, you guys can write down here in the comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and like. Thank you.